What's up, guys? Me, Miss. I mean, me, Cold Roller here. Yeah, I do like daily vlogs at, at the Elder Channel. If you like, check that out. It'll be in the down description down below if you like, check that out. So, yeah. So, I want to talk about like waterproof phones out there or water resistance phones, stuff like that. Yeah. So, now, I don't believe some could be waterproof now. But I could believe like the war resistance, but I still don't believe it's waterproof. Yeah, that's the thing. So the thing I had is called the, the Casio G1 Commander, and it's supposed to survive in like four feet drop, like probably like 26 drops actually. So yeah. Well, I don't believe this could survive. In a four feet drop, you know why? Alright, I will tell you why. Like, I used to have like a Cassie Commando, 4G LTE, like, dropped it, like, two feet drop. Like, hit right down to the front. And almost the whole entire screen cracked. That's the reason why I don't believe these smartphones could survive in a four feet drop. So, yeah. Now I don't believe believe Casio that it could survive four feet. I don't believe it. Well, I kind of will believe like they could survive one foot. Like iPhones out there, some could not may survive one feet tall. Why? Like, if you drop like an iPhone like one feet. It shows a little slight crack. Yes, yeah, what it will show. Well, I used to have like an iPhone 4. Like, the whole entire body's made of glass. The back's made of glass. Front's made of glass. It's called an iPhone 4. Yeah. 4 and 4S is a glass body. Glass back, glass front. So, yeah. I don't even like smartphones. I like some of them could be made of glass because they break. It break. So, yeah. So, yeah. I will, I could be, I could believe like Casio flip phones could survive drops. I could believe like flip phones could survive drops. But, now, I don't believe smartphones could survive drops. And that's the reason why. And see, it looks like it's scratched in the f in the front. It's the reason why it looks scratched in the front. I don't know why it's scratched in the front, but I put like two layers of gun tape in it, so it's two times make survive drops. I think I should put more, actually, maybe. So yeah, I think I should put more layers of gun tape. So. Yeah, maybe I should do that. Yeah. The video that I've done, the slow motion video, boring water foam, survived. So, I believe this is water resistance. I used to believe it's waterproof. Now I don't believe it. Now I don't. So, yeah. I only believe uh, waterproof phones are like the water resistance. That's the only way I could like believe like the like the phone wall resistance. That's the only ones I could believe. If like waterproof, I don't believe. So yeah, some of, like waterproof cases like if you leave it in like water for like almost an hour actually. They may not survive. Some few may survive, but some may, some few may not. So, yeah. Actually, I believe waterproof cases and water resistance, not waterproof. So, like this phone has a Gorilla Glass front, like, in the, in the newer Casio Commando, 
4G LTE as Gorilla Glass 2, and it did not survive two feet drop. What is it like? Gorilla Glass 2 is like weaker than Gorilla Glass? So, I was thinking this glass probably will be probably thicker than the other one. So, yeah. I was thinking this this phone's like stronger than the other ones. So, yeah. I could believe like flip phones could survive and like four feet drops and stuff like that because like some some flip phones doesn't have a glass front, some do, some don't. Even a Casio Rock has a glass front, so it may survive like up to like four feet because I think flip phones are like stronger than or basic phones are probably stronger than like these type of phones, smartphones. Yeah, they're all they're all called smartphones. So, like if they're called smartphones, like like if if they look like this, like the touch pad and stuff like that. So yeah. So many Casio phones, they they're like push to talk, but some some one of them are not push to talk, some are. This one's push to talk. So yeah, if you don't even know push to talk is push to talk is like a wireless walkie talkie thing, like like real walkie talkies. Like if you're like a little far away from like the person like you're post like talk to them, walkie talkie, like some like could make like a noise is static. Could make a noise static and you can't even hear them at all. So yeah. That's the reason why I like push talk. Because you could like because you're like you could like barge call them like it doesn't have to sh show like alert like like if like so many people like if they like ignore like a real phone call it kind of sucks right so that's the reason why I like push talk as it has barge call in it yeah. So, it's barge calling it, alert calling it, I'm not, not going to show you it, because it shows like a phone number in the bottom of it, so I'm not going to show that. So, yeah. I'm not going to show you it, but. And yeah, I'm not, not going to show you the push talk thing, so. If you like to check out the push talk video that I post like a couple of years ago, it'll be in the description down below again. So, yeah, that's the reason why I like push to talk. I like push to talk much better than phone calls because you could like alert call whatever they could like notice, or you could barge call if they like ignore like a lot, like. Like keep on talking and like a push talk thing so they couldn't notice it. Like if you like make like a like a call and a barge call, it makes like a little noise so you can notice a little bit. But like you do like a like it it like ends like the push talk call like automatically if you like leave it alone for like a few seconds. Yeah, so. Yeah, I wanna keep on like talking around and bark call because it automatically ends. But if you like put like in like a bark call, it would kind of make a little sound effect. But some people they cannot even hear it. As some could, so yeah. So, yeah, I don't know what else to say, but, so, yeah, I don't believe, like, Casio smartphones could survive in drops, 
but I could believe like flip phones could survive like a four feet drop. Because, like, I don't believe like cast your phones are indestructible. I only believe flip, flip phones or basic phones are indestructible. Not completely indestructible, but half indestructible. Because I, I used to destroy like a flip phone once. Like, I destroy like over like four, four, like five, four flip phones. Yeah. Like, some I threw up in the air. So I like to do it. Yeah, I like to destroy them like, like long. But it's pretty fun. You know what I mean? It's, just, it's so fun. I like to throw them up the air, like run them over and stuff like that. So, hey, yeah. So I like to do in life. Just destroy your phones. Yeah. So I like to do. Like, I destroy like all the old phones, but. Now we're saving some for you for like cameras and stuff like that. So, yeah. I don't believe phones are waterproof. I only believe them water resistance. I don't believe them they could survive drops. I don't believe smartphones could survive drops. Because I used to drop my smartphones. Yeah. I used to have like a few. I have like a few smartphones that are like cracked. So. Yeah, I had this phone for a year and still haven't it cracked. I dropped it once, but thank God I survived. Thank God I didn't hit through the front. So, so yeah, I don't believe like smartphones could survive in in drops now. I don't believe phones are waterproof now. I only believe in like water resistance a little bit. So, yeah. So, I wouldn't wear not bring like a waterproof phone to like a swimming pool. Like, like the water. If some water could like get into the screen, sometimes it could be showing like the screen completely black. So, yeah. If you have like a lot of like water in it, in the phone, your screen will turn completely black, and you have to like notice, like if you're like, like in the flip flip phone, like it may be easier than having a smartphone with a black screen. So, yeah, comment below if would you wear like have like a black screen with a flip phone, a black screen with a Smartphone, like, in a black screen, like, it, with a smartphone, it may be hard. Like, to dial a number where you, who you want to call. So, yeah. In a flip phone, flip, flip phone, but, you have to notice, like, you have to, like, completely notice, or, like, you can't go, you can't figure out the, like, the contacts, you, only way you do, like, if you have, like, a black screen, you could, like, notice by dialing your numbers, but, yeah. If you, like, feel like you made, like, a mistake, so, like, you're, like, you hit the end button, then you dial the, like, the, the numbers again. Like, the right numbers. Like, if you don't even know what their numbers are, there's like, I saw some videos, like, I can't believe it, like, you take your, like, your battery out, have your charter ports open and stuff like that, leave it in the rice for like a couple days, and then it would not show any more black. So, yeah, I kind of do believe that because I, I saw some, a lot of videos of that, so, yeah, so. You put like a phone in like a rice. It's usually supposed to be like a. If like you drop your phone in the toilet and stuff like that, you, 
you have to like you can like use like a vacuum like where you take out take apart the phone and suck up the water. Yeah, there's so many different ways, so one to put it in the rice, second to suck up the vacuum. I know it's kinda loud, but second is suck up the water with the vacuum. You probably have to have like a water vacuum or something like that. It can't be weak. It has to be like strong, you know what I mean? So it has to be like a strong vacuum to suck up the water. So yeah. If you like put your phone in rice if it's like water damage, yeah take off the back take off the battery. Like if your battery's water damage or your battery doesn't work from water, yeah get a new battery. And then then you open your charter ports and stuff like that. And then you leave it in there for like a couple days and and boom. Probably your your phone will go normal like like this actually. Or something like that. I don't know. I don't know what's gonna work because I saw a lot of videos of like putting phone in the rice. Yeah. I don't even know what's gonna really work, but so yeah, I don't even know what else to say, but I guess it might be pretty much it for today. Yeah. So make sure you like, subscribe, favorite, and share and comment what you think about this video. And then I will see you next time. So see ya.